So I filmed another sunset today with three cameras. One was the P900 completely without any solar filter. And then I had the B700 and the D5600 connected to the telescope and filming with solar filters. Now, the orientation of the sun today was even better because it moved right in front of those two towers. And as you can see, at this point, we've got the sun completely obscuring those towers. And it would actually appear as if those towers are behind the sun. Now, fortunately, right at this point, a flock of birds flew past. In the video on the P900, without a filter, it does actually look like the birds flew behind the sun. Let me just play that for you. Okay, however, if we go to one of the videos that was taken with the solar filter, you can see the towers are clearly visible in front of the sun and these dark images here are in fact the birds which are also clearly in front of the sun. So this video again just demonstrates that because of the brightness of the sun when you're not using a solar filter it will create the false illusion that objects are actually behind the sun when it's not the case at all. Let me just go back and play the birds moving in front of the sun now. There they go. And what I'll do is just uh, compile this video and then just put some timestamps where you can see these birds yourself. So we're just filming another sunset and this time I've got the P900 without a solar filter and I've got the B700 and the D5600 with solar filters filming the same sunset. I'll just leave the solar filter off this camera. So you can see in the P900 video, it actually looks like the sun is moving in front of those towers. It's now 5.04 p.m. 5.04 p.m. Now at this point I just need to mention in the cameras with the solar filter they're connected to the telescope which is tracking the sun. It's moving on uh, its equatorial axis and so when you see the horizon moving upwards it's not because I'm panning down, it's because the cameras are following the sun. Now 5.05 p.m. 5.05 p.m. And I just made a manual adjustment on the telescope to keep the top of the sun visible on the D5600. Once again, in the P900, it looks like the sun is in front of the tower.
the sun disappears, I'll zoom right in as much as I can with the digital zoom. So you can see in the P900 video, it actually looks like the sun is moving in front of those towers. It's now 5.04 p.m. 5.04 p.m. Now at this point I just need to mention in the cameras with the solar filter they're connected to the telescope which is tracking the sun. It's moving on uh, its equatorial axis and so when you see the horizon moving upwards it's not because I'm panning down it's because the cameras are following the sun. Now 5.05 p.m. 5.05 p.m. And I just made a manual adjustment on the telescope to keep the top of the sun visible on the D5600. Once again, in the P900, it looks like the sun is in front of the tower. When the sun disappears, I'll zoom right in as much as I can with the digital zoom. You can see in the P900 video, it actually looks like the sun is moving in front of those towers.
It's now 5.04 p.m. 5.04 p.m. Now at this point I just need to mention in the cameras with the solar filter they're connected to the telescope which is tracking the sun. It's moving on uh, its equatorial axis and so when you see the horizon moving upwards it's not because I'm panning down it's because the cameras are following the sun. Now 5.05 p.m. 5.05 p.m. And I just made a manual adjustment on the telescope to keep the top of the sun visible on the D5600. Once again, in the P900, it looks like the sun is in front of the tower. When the sun disappears, I'll zoom right in as much as I can with the digital zoom. 